How's it going everyone, Tavios here, and today we're going over 6 exotic weapons to keep an eye out for with ARC 3.0. I tried really hard to keep it at 5, but I just couldn't kick any of these weapons out. If you enjoy this type of content, you already know what to do, so let's begin. At number 6, we got Anarchy. Heavy grenade launcher originally from the Scourge of the Past raid, but now sold at the Monument to Lost Lies kiosk at the tower. This weapon received a big nerf a few seasons ago, forcing everyone to dump it in their vault, but with ARC 3.0 it might see a return. ARC traps. Grenades stick to surfaces and chain ARC bolts to other mines. Great for boss DPS or ad control, but you must strategically place your grenade shots to create some kind of square or triangle. With a new update to ARC subclasses, we're expecting a focus on speed and chain lightning, so this weapon might become the must-have heavy weapon. Coming in at number 5, we have Symmetry. Symmetry is the exotic scout rifle released during Season of Dawn, and now also sold at the kiosk at the tower. This weapon is very unique. With the intrinsic trade revolution, you can swap to Arc Seeker mode, in which the weapon fires slower, but projectiles track enemies dealing extra damage. Precision hits builds up by dynamic charge, then swapping to Arc Seeker mode increases the damage and partially reloads the magazine based on the number of charges you have. So you get a few precision kills in normal mode, then swap to Arc Seeker mode and activate tracking, dealing a lot more damage. Now if you can add any type of chain line into this weapon with Arc 3.0, it could be extremely nasty. Don't even want to think about this in PvP. Number 4. In number 4 we have Thunderlord. This weapon from Destiny 1 came back to us during a festival of the lost many moons ago, but has been lacking a catalyst ever since. The intrinsic trade, Rain Havoc, brings down lightning from above with any kill. Also, continuous damage triggers lightning strikes, so if you're using it on a boss, you'll still trigger lightning. Another great heavy weapon that can become even better with Dark 3.0. Who knows, you might even get a catalyst soon. And at number 3, we have Trespasser. The new, new to Destiny 2, Arc Exotic Sidearm for Season of the Haunted. This weapon's intrinsic trade loads the weapon with a powerful super burst when reloading after defeating a target. This super burst does so much damage, and the weapon's perk, Be the Danger, reloads another super burst straight into the magazine by getting a kill with the super burst, so you can just keep going as long as you get a kill with it. Plus, its catalyst gives it extra target acquisition and aim down sight speed. This weapon, paired with some good aspects and fragments in Arc 3.0, could be god tier. Keep that in mind. Coming in at number 2, we have Trinity Goal. The exotic bow that sat in my vault since Forsaken, until last year when it finally got a catalyst and became one of the most fun bows to use. Split Electron. Fires an arrow that splits when released. Aiming down sights and fully drawing the bow both decrease the spread. Lightning Rod. Precision kills grant the next shot chain lightning capabilities. And it's Catalyst. Lightning Rod now triggers from any arc damage final blow. Grenade, melee, super, any arc kill makes this weapon a chain lightning beast. Just think about the possibilities with Arc 3.0 and its aspersing fragments. Okay, we got one more to cover, which you probably already know what it is. But before that, some honorable mentions that I won't go into much detail, but I had to mention. I'll let you do your own research. Cloud Strike. The Arc Exotic Sniper Rifle that's a nightmare to fight against in PvP. It requires some skill to use, but those who do love it in PvP. Not for me, but here it is. Traveler's Chosen, one of my favorite sidearms, and the only kinetic exotic sidearm with osmosis. So you can still have it be Arc, get ability energy with this exotic perk, and maybe pair it with my next honorable mention. Salvager Salvo, an amazing legendary ritual weapon from Season of the Chosen. Arc energy grenade launcher with chain reaction. Just everything blows up. I'm sure we'll start seeing this weapon out more, just wait. And Cold Heart. Exotic Art Trace Rifle that recently got a rework to now spawn Ionic Traces. Ionic Traces give you ability and super energy, so check this one out too. Alright, time for number one. The one weapon I can't wait to try with Arc 3.0 is, of course, Wrist Runner. The Arc SMG every Guardian has, I believe is the first exotic weapon new players get when started Destiny 2. Arc Conductor. When taking Arc damage, this weapon becomes more powerful and resisting common Arc damage. Kills extend the time in this overcharged state. When Arc Conductor is active, shots fired have a chance to become chain lightning and return ammo. Plus its catalyst gives it extra range. This weapon shreds through enemies, especially if there's Arc Shields to pop. The weapon auto reloads and chain lightning everywhere, plus extra damage when you get hit with Arc damage. It's honestly super powerful, I can't wait to test it with Arc 3.0. 
There it is my friends, the best weapons in my opinion to keep an eye out for with ARC 3.0, coming very soon. If you found this video informative, a like and heavy attack on that subscribe button really helps me out. My name is Tavius Place, and if you'd like to watch other informative Destiny 2 videos, you can click here.